So you know I'm just a YouTuber, you know, who, uh, you know, spreads, tries to spread as much positivity in the world, you know. Even though I don't have a, just a big following, you know, I still like making videos. And I don't like, you know, getting myself involved in drama. But, you know, as a 14-year-old myself, you know, a guy who's underage, you know, can't really have sex. I am pissed off, kind of. Pissed off of what Carson did, a few, uh, like, you know, a while back. Like, during March, literally, like, when he was still growing as a creator, but he was still pretty popular. Anyway, if you don't know what Carson did, and if you're not a fan of him, or have been living under a rock, don't know really, don't really know much about the news, then, uh, you know, you can, like, th this video is not for you. Th that's all I'm gonna say. But, if you do know who Carson is, you might want to watch his video if you don't know what he did. Now, Carson got into some, uh, Twitter drama because of, of like the latest episode of Drama Alert when some of his friends came out with uh, information about Carson. Yeah, and this information was not good. Carson actually was hitting on minors. Now, if you do know the story, in you, you you might think is this a Juliet and Romeo and Juliet type of situation, you know where. I mean, he was only like two years older, but he was still of age, and that girl was underage. So, it's not really that looking good for a Carson. But, you know, he's, he, I don't really label him as a pedophile, but, but I mean, he, he still, he still, what he still did was a pedophilia. With the information that's given to me, I can't call him a pedophile. But, it is... But, but he did hit on other age, other age women, so you can say what you want, but, I mean, you can't really label him that much yet. There's still some information. I mean, we don't even know if those are the only girls that he fucking hit on. I mean, there could be other people that are too scared to actually come out. You know? So, we can't really label him yet. Because, you know, some states, you know, in some states in America, this is not really a bad thing, but other than that, yeah, he, he, he he's, he's fucking wrong. Anyways, I I came here to uh, address this because, you know, I've been a fan of Comedy Carson for like years now. You know, I I've been around since like 500k subs, and I I seen him grow from what he was then to what he is now, and you know, it's it's kind of hard to believe. If you've been a fan to uh, someone for that long, it's kind of hard to believe, you know, because you don't want to believe it, but you know it's happening. It, it's it, it's a lot of take in, and what I do, why well, think what Carson did was wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it is wrong. I mean, as an underage guy myself, it is wrong, but, you know. Some states, I mean, he was two years older, so in some states that's not wrong, but in most states it is. So, I came to address, you know, I don't really like drama, but since I was a fan of Comedy Carson, and this, like, you know, this just hit me like a fucking thunderstorm when I first heard about it from uh, Limian, since I'm not going to say his real name, as he doesn't want his information to be out. Since Limian told me at school that he, what he what he did, so and it hit me like a fucking thunderstorm. I cannot believe that Columbia Carson did this. But you know, all great YouTubers must come to an end, and uh, this is his end. He cannot be redeemed from this. There's no way that you can ever be redeemed from pedophilia. So that's my take. Uh, goodbye.